Barcelona. Um, well, this road here, well, you see where the restaurant is at the end. Here. That's actually where the sea used to be. So all the way up until 1714, when the city was that much lower, this is actually where the sea came to. It, became, it was the edge of the old harbour all the way up until, where would you be, 1792? Does that make sense so far? Um, yeah, you see where the lady in the courageous shirt just went? Right. So that's, she kind of walked out of the sea all the way up to 1714, just stepping onto this. This road has never changed, mate. It's called the Carrera de las Damas. It's my favorite road in the city. The Carrera de las Damas, it means the ladies' road. They're not, um, they weren't ladies of ill repute or prostitutes or nasty ladies. They were all lovely, lovely ladies. But when sailors and adventurers were caught in storms overseas, they prayed to the gods to like bring them home safely. In return for being brought home in one piece, they promised they were just gonna like give up the swashbuckling, philandering, Piratical bull crap and just settled down with the first girl that they laid eyes on. As a result, this road was perpetually rammed with women waiting <laughs> for the sailors to get back from a storm. I mean, as you can imagine, it's made well, mainly the lonelier ones, the, the, the slightly more desperate, the hairy ones. <laughs> my bit of one eye, bit of a leg, and a beard. It wouldn't matter, the sailors had to keep their promises to the gods no matter what. So, you go, life is a well, life's a lottery, guys, just you know, be lucky. <laughs> it's getting more surreal by the second. <laughs> oh, I've seen a beautiful painting of this road where the chap got off of his boat blindfolded to try and dodge it. And he ended up on that road. It's called Carrera de Aces. It means the road of the donkeys. I'll let you <laughs> finish off the love story in your own time. Um, we're going to pop around to the Kingdom of Aragon like you do. Oh, I always forget to mention this. It's perfect timing. If you have a smartphone, smartphones and iPad, shit, iPad, iPad, iPad. So I was talking about pirates. If you've got a way of writing something down, Pencil and paper for Amish amongst you. <laughs> Whip it out. I'm not going to steal your phone. I promise. This is just for your benefit. About three weeks ago, I was appointed. What do they call it? Lead. Lead guide. God, don't really know what it means. It comes with one perk. It's just for you guys. If you're going like anywhere else in Europe, whether it's on this adventure or later <laughs> on in life, if you want to do any of the specialists and the select tours, whether it's your Third Reich in Berlin or the coffee shops in Amsterdam or the pub crawls and the ghost tours and the castles in. Oh, good grief. Madrid, Madrid, Munich, Prague, Paris, London, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Dublin, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Brussels, Hamburg, uh, Lisbon, we're everywhere now. Like a plague. Um, <laughs> if you book them online, and you probably already know the site, if you don't know the site, it's just neweuropetours.eu. When you come to pay for these things, it will always ask you if you have a discount code. Right, type in, this is all capital letters, okay. My name, Ow. Leon, <laughs> L-E-O-N, all capitals, and then the letters B-A-R for Barcelona. So it's Leon Bar, but it's all one word, and it's all capital letters, and it'll give you a whacking great big discount. It will save you a fortune if you want to do the specialist tours around the rest of the network 50%. for what it's worth. <laughs> so, I'm in percent. Um, I think it's 10, I think it's a 10% discount. Okay. Um, some of them, it depends what, what tours you're doing, but the, um, I mean, obviously some of, the, some of the most amazing ones can get a little bit pricey when you want to do them all. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I asked one tiny thing in return, guys, while you've got your phones handy, just make a note for me. If you've enjoyed this, when it finishes, the end might suck. <laughs> if you've enjoyed it when it finishes, do me a huge favor, I beg you. Oh, I wish I didn't mean this. I do. I beg you, please just take one minute out of your day and jump online and go to TripAdvisor. Okay. Send me a review and let me know what you thought of it. Because, well, people think we never read the reviews, but it, oh, it's tragic, but true. Yeah, I start every day looking to see if anyone reviewed the tour.